Did you know that you don't need to wait hours for super realistic rendering anymore? Did you know that you no longer have to spend a lot of money on render farms just to create animations? Did you know that there's an amazing tool for architecture that does realistic scenes in real time and also creates animations basically by just clicking a button? And the best thing is that it's free. I'm Dennis Gandra from DVIS, specialist in Unreal Engine for ArcVis, and I'm here to teach you how to do it. Welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 course for ArcVis. You're going to be able to learn together with me how to create realistic and interactive experiences. Export animations in real time without rendering, right from scratch. There'll be more than 100 classes, more than 40 hours of incredible and in-depth content designed to help you, to teach you basically everything for ArcVis using Unreal Engine 5. Now let's talk about Unreal Engine and its installation. We'll show you how to install it, how to prepare files in 3ds Max. But don't worry if you don't use 3ds Max, you can still use your preferred software of choice, even if that be Blender, Maya, SketchUp. You'll be able to see how you can adapt the same principles that we'll show you in 3ds Max to your preferred software of choice. Have I already told you about the design that we're going to be basing our work on? We'll take a look now. We're going to be showing you how you can put together all of these things with the use of the Piano House. It's beautiful. As you can see here, all of this was put together without rendering. We'll show you how to distribute furniture and optimize things. In other words, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to send your models into the engine in the best possible way. We'll import models, distribute them, configure them, understand a lot about how the engine works, okay? And we'll start in around module five to look at lighting the scene. Now this is a fascinating part of Unreal Engine 5. You'll be able to see how light behaves, how it bounces in real time within your scene. And believe me, it's gonna blow your mind. So we'll be learning Lumen, how to configure it, how to adjust it, how it works. Lumen is the name of an amazing tool that we're gonna be using for lighting the scene in Unreal 5. We'll create the sun, clouds, reflections, add cameras, learn photography techniques and concepts to use with our cameras. And then we'll reach the class on the materials. Ah, the material classes. Now that's exciting. We're gonna take a look at how we can use materials to really inject life into our scene. We'll learn how to migrate, how to export, how to create our own library and use it in other designs, how to optimize and manage the scene so you don't need higher end computers to run the engine. So as part of our optimization process, we'll show you how to use Nanite in your projects too. We'll also be using artificial lights, IES files to set up the scene. Oh, by the way, did you know that Quixel is free for Unreal Engine users? Did you know that? It's so cool. If you didn't know, it's amazing. It's full of thousands of assets, free, optimized, realistic, and ready to use in our designs, free of charge. We'll also be learning how to distribute vegetation within the scene such as grass, trees, stones. And I'll show you all the secrets of foliage because it's a really amazing tool. It really helps us to distribute our vegetation and stay in control in such an organic but natural way. We'll learn how to optimize the project by making use of levels as well. So you can hide and unhide levels. So you don't need to be using lots of your GPU in your project. This class is amazing. And trust me, it's gonna help you a lot. Ah, the animations. Now in module 22, 
after almost 60 lessons, it's time to start to animate our design. That's right, animate it, okay? Not render it, animate it. We can move things around, do virtual tours. We can add animated content onto televisions, create sequences, and so much more. It's gonna be a really cool module, this. Maybe you've got a design that you've always wanted to animate. Well, we'll help you do that. We'll also be learning how to generate collisions and understand the importance of it. But there's one secret. You'll find it there, okay? Now let me ask you, have you ever wanted to send your 3D design to your customer so they can navigate like a game? So they can change finishes, change colors, turn on and off lights, just like a game experience, without the need to use Unreal Engine on their computer? Well, you'll be able to learn all of this in the Blueprints chapter. And in this module, we have an amazing teacher to help us with all of the technical things, but in such a way that it's easy for us to understand. Now, you may have noticed that we already have gone through 80 classes and we haven't even talked about ray tracing yet. Are we gonna be including this in this course? Yes, but they are already in the course. Near class number 90. Now, why is this? Well, because we want to extract as much of Lumen as possible without the need for ray tracing. So that even if you don't have a graphics card that has ray tracing ability, you can still make use of Unreal Engine 5 and use the techniques we're showing you. But if you do have ray tracing, well, in this chapter, we'll be able to learn how you can add that detail to add more accuracy to the light bounces and other things in your scene. Anyway, there are so many chapters and basically we're providing you with everything you need to know to create amazing content with Unreal Engine 5 so that you, yes, you can stand out in the market as an incredible artist. Now, we haven't even talked about the metaverse yet, have we? Well, Unreal Engine is in these areas as well. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So then, come over and be part of one of the best courses in the world for ArcViz in Unreal Engine 5 by DViz. Welcome to real time. No render, no render farms. Welcome 